Hey guys, welcome back to Paul's Lifestyle Vlog. I hope you all are having a fantastic weekend. Um, it is Sunday, so um, if you see me in the same kind of workout shirt, because I'm doing a vlog at the same time as filming a video, that's why I'm not changing. So, I thought I would sit down and go through my work bag with y'all. I'm fixing to clean it out. I try to clean it out normally every Sunday, Monday, because my Sundays are technically Mondays with our work schedule. So, I have two right now. Ridiculous, so we're going to get down to one. I'm carrying this bad boy right here. This is the Neverfull GM in the Damier Ebin. This sucker is a workhorse. This bag has been through Hades, literally, and back. Um, this bag is probably five or six years old. It was the last run before they added the clutch into it. So however old that is. And then I have my all time favorite, my whipping post. Love this bag, guys. If y'all want a full review on this bag, let me know. I know the planner community loves a whipping post tote. This bag is about three or four years old. Let's start with this one because there's less stuff in it. So, let's go through this, guys. I have a backup charger. If you have a smartphone, you have to have one of these. This one, I really like because it's got the two ports, so you can charge two phones at once, an iPad, a phone. This one will charge my iPhone 10 Max S, whatever it is now, I think almost two or three times fully, and it will charge my iPad Pro all the way one time. So, next thing in that bag is my iPad Pro. Um, missing the Apple Pencil. Let's look for that. But let me clear this, and I'll show you, because some people like to see a home screen for some reason. My iPad has not been backed up, but there's my home screen. Like this. And it says, you cannot have a million dollar dream with a million, a, cannot read, let's start this over. You cannot have a million dollar dream without a, on a minimum wage work ethics. So, I always just keep that there to always remember, I want that million dollar dream, and I've got to just work hard for that. Okay. What's next in there? A missing GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero, GoPro 5, Hero 5, Hero S, Hero, Hero 5. I've been looking for this. There he is. Um, I have paintbrush pens. I bought these at like Tuesday morning. I really like these just to do with and make fun notes, um, signs at work. Many of y'all know I own a boutique and this helps make really neat signs for like cells and stuff like that especially since I have bad handwriting the end of the the markers are literally like it is like a paintbrush and it, I don't want to touch myself but they glide really good let me see I have paper right here oh let's go back to focus guys no I don't um so Next thing is the sketchbook. I like to doodle, and so I use this just to doodle in. It's white sketch paper. But also what I like to do with this is this paper makes it really fun to make the signs for the store. So I'll use that. That stuff normally stays at the store. Then I have an invoice from one of my jewelry distributors. I have this is where I keep important phone numbers. These are of all the businesses in my old town area that I'm part of the chamber in. I'm part of two chambers, actually. Or merchant associations, associations, actually. Let me get that correct. And then I just keep some graph paper in there just to write on and take notes. This is very easy because I love this. It's leather and it just rolls up. And you can just add your paper as you need it. Or anything else. Um, the next thing I have is a file folder. This one's a leather file folder. Very simple. This has all of my receipts and invoices. 
that I brought home that need to be filed here at the house. I don't keep stuff like that at the store. Um, here is a phone number for a customer on a Louis Vuitton pop socket that she wants. These are literally business cards for vendors that just came to see me the other day. Guys, I found a penny. Count every cent you ever make to let the universe know that you are doing great and you accept everything that they give you. Um, that is, oh, look what I just found. Here is another person's phone number. Not real sure what she wanted because there is no note with it. So this is completely empty. Found the missing Apple Pencil. And then I have this clutch. It's got like, you can can hear it. This is great because I throw my vlogging camera in here, my wallet, and I go. Inside of here right now, it's literally a notepad that fell in there, I promise. Um, from so much crafting for my A5 planner, which is my main bag, it's the password keeper and adventure calendar because we have three trips coming up for next year and we have two trips coming up for this year. We just got back from our cruise about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. And we leave this Friday for Florida and then we go to Vegas for Evan's birthday. And then a password keeper thing because for every vendor, I have to have a password. And then that's the next thing that's just gonna show. Oh, iPad sleeve for my iPad that stays at work. This is all of our booking and flight information for Vegas. Don't want to share that because that's got personal information. But yeah, this just has a little strap on it. You can carry it just like a little clutch if you want to or whatever. I love little bags like that. Okay, guys, let's get into Big Bertha here. Who knows what we are going to find in here? The only thing I dropped, literally dropped back in here, I'm gonna see if I can put this in my lap for a little bit, is um, my wallet because I pulled my wallet out when we went out to dinner last night. So, crinkled piece of paper. Go ahead and recycle that. We have another person's phone number, Nicole. Visor. Really, Nicole Visor. I know what she wants. I gotta add that into my notes in a minute. Um, this is a receipt to Home Depot for $79. Let's see what we bought. I have no idea. Outdoor, Scott's Outdoor Cleaner. Um, there's some stuff on here, but I don't really know what it is. Bypass, I have no idea. Who knows, that one is for the house receipts. Okay, this is a hydro flask. This is my water that I take to work every day. I love these things, they will keep your water cold. Guys, okay, it's Sunday. I worked yesterday, which is Saturday. This water is still cold. Not ice cold, but it is colder than room temperature. Okay, another piece of paper, Jennifer's number. She wants lavender laundry soap. These papers literally came out of my planner the other day. These were ladies that wanted toothpaste. I mean, I have notes everywhere because I have a bin of notes at work. As products come in, I can pull them and I'm going to redo all those into my iPad. So I brought all those home and then I have, these were old inserts that were in my planner that had notes and stuff on it that I needed to pull. This is my lady that makes all my custom dog collars. So if y'all need dog collars, let me know. I got a lady that makes them for the store. Okay, I've got an iPhone 7 Plus. This one is my store one. I don't mess with this after I get home. But yeah, it has my boutique logo on it. That is it right there. Um, but yeah, and then of course I have my iPhone Max, whatever it is. Um, and then on the back of mine, 
I have a Louis Vuitton card holder. I have a lay that buy that takes damaged bags and turns them into items. And what I keep in here is I always keep a twenty dollar bill in there. It normally goes further back because you never know when you're needed twenty and you just have your phone on you. Because I do Apple Pay for most things, but there's just always that one time that you're gonna need twenty dollars. I have my business card for the store. This is my storage business card. Then I have my personal owner's business card. I'm not showing the back of the owner's one just because it does have my cell phone number and it has a store number. I carry my YouTube card, which I'm fixing to remake these because I no longer have that PO box. It was too far to get to. I have a my um, a vendor, but here's all of my store stuff. I don't care if I show this because it is public record. There's all my store information. Yes, it's backwards, I think, to y'all. So, that is what's in there. Then I have my wallet. These are receipts from Party City because we had a big event at the store and this was for balloons and decorations. File that for Uncle Sam. And then inside of here, it normally stays pretty well organized. I have $10 that is floating around that should not be. But I'll show you all the inside. Here's the inside. This side is all personal credit cards, like my American Express, our Royal Caribbean card, um, my driver's license, health insurance. I have a credit card for my parents because I live down the street from them. If I have to do anything for them, I'm tied to one of their accounts so I can just run and pick up stuff for them. Makes it more convenient. And then over here are all my business cards, like my debit card for the store, my store credit card, and then my HOA credit card because I'm the president of the HOA, and my Starbucks cards in there, and just my lifetime membership card. And then in here is change. Over here is cash, and then cash over here. Small bills go there, big bills go there. And then change in the middle. Here's something that I have carried, two items that I've carried for many years. This was a Brighton Angel pen that I gave to my grandmother probably, guys, it has been, me and Evan have been together nine years, probably 15 years ago, and she passed away probably 11 years ago, and she had this always pinned on the inside of her pillow, and so I carry it with me everywhere I go. And then this right here is fading, and I'm gonna have to like figure out how to not have it fade. It says, have a great 10th grade year, 2000. I love you, and I, I will always love you to the moon and back, mom. And she wrote that on here. And she said, keep that, you might need that dollar one day. Well, let me tell you, going through college and life, I have come very close to needing that dollar. I have never spent it. That dollar is now 19 years old and I'm still holding on to it. Okay, Chase, obviously. It's my money bag for the store. In here are receipts for the store that need to be filed. Um, believe it or not, as a boutique owner, you have to write a lot of checks. And then this is just the cash out of the drawer for the store. I don't keep it in there over the weekend. If my girl's working, she takes it home. It's just more of a safety. Because where our desk is located, it's right by the back door. It's a glass back door, so it just makes it more convenient. Just it, It's safer to take it home. There we go. Then I have my keys. It's my key clay. My keys, I drive a 2018 Chevy Tahoe LTZ. And then all of my keys, which are mailbox for the store, store key, house key, old P.O. box key I need to get rid of, and then the key to Evan's salon. And then in my little key clay, ooh, I have some monies. I have lots of monies. I have 
blah, 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 blah. Ooh, there's a couple dollars in here. I need to take this to the bank tomorrow because I had no idea they had much, that much cash in here because I literally throw my keys everywhere. But yeah, there's some 20s. Um, that's going to the bank tomorrow. I have a $100 gift card, more of my business cards, punch card for the gym, for, um, we go to Lifetime and they have a live cafe, and when you buy shakes, they give you punches, and then these are my owner's cards for the store. I switched because I like to be able to write on a business card because sometimes you need to write down something for somebody. And then, oh, that's not supposed to be in here. And then I've got some change. Oh, you know what that money's for. I know what it is. Um, we did an event in the town I live at. We live, we live in Keller, um, suburbs of Fort Worth in Texas. And I live in old, uh, my shop's in Old Town Keller. And we did a event with all the boutiques in Old Town Keller. And I paid for everything to be done, like the printing. Um, boosting the post and everything, and that was the money from the boutiques paying me back for that. So, yes, that does need to go to the bank. So, yeah, those are my keys. Another receipt from Big Lots. I bought planters, a dog toy that Miss Charlie destroyed within three minutes, um, and a couple of storage containers. Good old big lots. Okay, let's get out the heavy things. This is my MacBook Air. It is the 13 inch, because I think the Airs only come in 10 and 13. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the 13 inch MacBook Air. This is my work computer. This thing travels with me everywhere, because I also edit on it, because I have an external hard drive somewhere. Love that computer. Um, my original MacBook Air I still have it. It is 15, it's right down here actually. It's 15 maybe years old at least and still works. This Kills bag came with a bunch of Kills products that we bought. Inside of here, it's just one of these doohickeys. I don't know what they're called at all, but it's like put my memory card in here to load onto my MacBook Air. My external hard drive. This has all of my documents for YouTube and for um, my store. I need to get a second one for the store. I really do. Because I take tons of pictures of clothing, jewelry, accessories, all that stuff, and then all my tax stuff for the stores on it. I really need to. Then I have the extender for my um, charger for my laptop. I have three chargers for the laptop. I keep one in the office here. I keep one in the, in our, we have a drawer in our family room that has chargers in it. I keep one in there, that one. That way I can use it around the kitchen and in there, and then I have one at work. And then these are all memory cards. I just went through them to clear them, save the stuff, or delete, because I have logged forever and did not ever upload and decided just to start all over. And I'm a pouch, pouch person, so you're going to see a lot of pouches. Here's another little pouch. I sell these at the store. I need to get some more in. This just has a variety of pins. I don't need to carry this, really. I really just need one pin. And there's a lid to something. That's comforting. Um, I have a ton of pins. There's the broken one. Um, I was a subscription, I had a subscription to cloth and paper and I upped the subscription to her pins also. So I was just getting so many pins and so much planner stuff. I actually canceled that subscription. But um, not for any bad reason. I just had too much stuff. Like I had to use some of it before I can have it again. Another one of those little pouches. This one is dedicated for the store. This one has my portable square reader. I do pop-up shops at events and things like that. or. People come to the house to pick up stuff that live in the neighborhood or whatever. Yeah, I'm that person. I'm that nice. Or I will drop off to my VIP customers the charger to it. Um, I always carry two extra bricks. Um, I've done a pop-up shop and my iPad's almost died in the middle of it. So I carry two extra bricks. 
And then I carry, I don't know what this charge is, but I've carried it forever. I don't know what this charge is. It kind of scares me to take it out. And then I have a dongle in case that the square reader dies. I have the old school ones that you can just swipe on. But of course our iPhones don't fit this or iPads, so you have to have this to make it work. So that is all that. That black cord, I need to figure out what that charges. Huh. I really don't know. Don't know. Okay. Next pouch is the Vuitton cosmetic thing. And this poor thing, this stuff never fit, goes in here, but it's in here from our cruise. I've never emptied it. Look at all this. These receipts, notepads, and then I have a ton. Guys, when I say I get a ton of business cards for events, earring holders, I'm not kidding. I have all kinds. This is from our last event. From everything. So these all need to be gone through. I have a ton of lens cleaners. I think that was Evan pulling in. Um, I have a bunch of my business cards in here, YouTube cards. I have a pen. I have huh, poopery before you go toilet spray. Um, when you travel, this kind of stuff comes in handy. Just to be courtesy, courtesy to everybody. I have chapstick, which I don't like this chapstick. I don't ever talk bad about anything that I don't like, really, but it is, it just dried my lips out worse than moisturizing, so not my favorite. A vendor came in and wanted me to try it, to carry it, I just don't care for it. Not my thing. Okay, next, oh, here it was. I have goggles, yes, these look like tanning goggles, technically they're tanning goggles. I do red light therapy to my face, and you have to wear those while you're doing that. Um, breath spray. This is from April's pull out of my planner. My planner is right here. That's the next thing I'm going to pull out. I have a tripod for my vlogging camera. Guys, this video just got really long. I'm apologizing. I have no idea why I have a hole punch. But I have a hole punch. Pack of gum. A Mont Blanc pen. This normally hooks onto my planner. I love that pen. <laughs> diamond tennis bracelet. Let's just pull jewelry out. And then this bracelet. I absolutely love this one. I got this one right before our cruise. It's a little crown. It's not going to focus, so are we? Okay. I'll have to insert a picture here, maybe. Back up. It's just grabbing my head. Oh, well. There's that. Dog's barking, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Okay guys, I'm back. Angle might be a little bit different. Evan just walked in and the dogs went crazy. So, um, this bracelet I actually used to take pictures with dresses at the store. Another set of those goggles. This is a Louis Vuitton cuff that the lady that makes all of my like phone cases and stuff, or, well, there's a pop socket and stuff, makes those also out of damaged bags. I have a breath spray. Guys, this stuff's literally just rolling around in my bag. And then, another notepad. This is why this thing weighs 900 pounds. Okay, let's get to this stuff now. I've got some more wipes. These are some great screen wipes. I got these on Amazon. They work oh so good. This is my pride and joy. I would go back into a burning building to save this. It is my Louis Vuitton GM planner. Not just because this is a Louis piece, because Evan knew how much I really wanted one, and I was having this, I've had this thing three or four years now, and I was having a really bad week at my old job, and just very stressed, and down and out, and he surprised me with this one night, and took me by complete surprise, but absolutely love that piece then if y'all ever want to see what's inside let me know and I'll film one I also have the PM planner I use this to track when we travel 
what we what I do is I put one passport here, another passport here, driver's license and our credit cards here. I have business cards in right now, and then it has just a, some paper in it to write on if we need it. A uh, fold out calendar for the year. That was actually last year's calendar. I need to put a new one in. And then a tiny, tiny, tiny pin to go inside. Which this piece can actually stay here. Then I have another pack of gum. I have my card holder. This has business cards in it. And then I'm a gold star shopper at Dallas Market Hall. And then I'll put my credit card and driver's license in here if I wanted something little and we were just going like to dinner or something. I have Apple Watch Band. Then in the zipper is the lady makes out of the straps from an Hermes box. Um, holders, these are keys to my store. And then, what else is in here? Look, another penny. Count those pennies. A pair of tweezers that fell out. Then I have, it's called a man junkie bag. I'm sure y'all have heard of the makeup junkie bags. This one's the man version. And it's just done with black leather. And then this has some extra cash in it. This is my rainy day money. And then I have this. The something bag. Um, cosmetic bag. I have a prescription. I have a Kills Disney mirror. See, it's got Minnie Mouse on it. Or Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse face on it. Another pack of gum. Y'all can tell I don't want ever to have bad breath. These are mouthwash tablets for on the go. I love these. These are from Lush. But they're just called mouthwash tablets. Focus. There we go. Then I have wet wipes. Wet ones. These I use to sanitize areas that we might be sitting at, eating if they don't look clean. Wet wipes, you never know when you get something sticky on your hands. Just an oak moss hand lotion. This is the Chanel Coco um, Balm. This stuff's really good, guys. Looks like lipstick, but it's just a um, balm, cocoa balm. I don't know what else to call it. <gasps> I just smushed it. That's what I get for trying to rush on that. A, another prescription. <clears throat> a taser. You never know when you need to protect yourself. I leave a store very late sometimes and walking through a parking lot. It is not one that throws anything, it's just a taser. Hold your ears. Um, it recharges by plugging into the wall. It's something super simple, easy, and it's just for safety. I'll leave it at my store when we travel for my girl, just in case. A pair of tweezers, um, hand sanitizer. This one's the EO essential oil one. I get these at Central Market when we're standing in line, and I need to get another one before we go to Florida. And another breast spray. One of these belongs in my car, and that was this. That was what was in there. And guys, I think that's everything. This bag is now completely emptied out. Very soft. Um, this bag is great, but my favorite one is still my whipping post tote that I just showed y'all. But that's everything in my bag. About, I'm gonna say about 40% of this stuff can stay here. So I'm gonna clean my bags up and get them organized and put back together. And then I will walk, then I'll show you how nicely clean my bag is because that was a scary mess before. Okay, guys. I'll see y'all here in just a little bit with the end of this video after I put it all back together. Okay guys, to finish up of what's in my bag video, let's take a sneak peek at what I kept in the bag. Now, my bag's down here. Right here is my planner. I did not put it back in there yet because I am working on um, putting my stuff for my planner, like more inserts for the year and all that. My money bag is right here for the store, so I can remember to go by the bank in the morning. And then this little bag that y'all saw in there is completely cleaned out, except for the pouch, has my YouTube cards and lens cleaners. And this is why I carry my G, -can G blah, 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 my Canon, 
what is this called? G7X. Okay, so this just has my spiral in it, my whipping post tote, and the markers. That is going back to work to be left. In here, it's just the charging cables and stuff for my laptop. My um, toiletry bag that just has my little miscellaneous in it, my iPad Pro, my journal, my laptop, and then this is my bag that has my extra square and stuff in it. These two items, I'm leaving this. I'm That needs to go back in here, actually. And then this I'm going to put with our travel stuff. And that's just my water bottle that I always use. So phone, my two phones are there. GoPro that I found in there is charging for our next vacation, which is Friday. We head to Florida. But guys, I hope y'all enjoyed a What's In My Bag video. If y'all want to see what's in my planner, y'all know what to do. Just let me know. And thank you for watching this video. And remember to subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. I'll leave it all listed down below. Bye, guys.